Hi there, my name is Jacob Staniforth and I provide support and customer services for Total CRM, a Melbourne based Dynamics 365 consulting company that specialises in the small and medium business market. While using Dynamics 365, several things may occur that require you to clear the cache of your preferred browser. Examples of these things are upgrades to the Dynamics 365 software or changes to customizations made by yourself, a consultant, or an installed solution. In this video, I'll be covering how to clear the cache for Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Internet Explorer. If you want to skip to your preferred browser, I've put timestamps in the description that we send you right to the correct place in the video. Now let's jump right into it. When clearing the cache, we want to make sure we have one browser open only. So before we start, make sure you only have the one browser open. Next, we're going to go up and we're going to click the three dots in the top right hand corner. And we're going to go down to the more tools and then we're going to click on clear browsing data. And you'll notice there's also a shortcut which is control shift and delete. So we're going to click on that, it'll open up a new tab. And here we have basic and advanced settings. We only need the basic settings. So by default, it may be set to last hour, but we're going to make sure that it's set to all time for the time range. Now of the three here we only need to select cookies and other site data and cached images and files. So once we have those two ticked we're going to do clear data. We'll think about it for a second and then we can, we can close out of it and then we can jump right back in and it should be all working again. When clearing the cache you want to make sure that you only have one browser open. So once you've confirmed that, we're going to head up to the top right hand corner and see the three little lines, I like to call it the hamburger menu, and we're going to click on that. So next we're going to click on library and then history and then clear recent history. That'll bring up this menu, we're going to click on the details drop down and then I'm going to change it to everything for the time range to clear. It'll bring up a little alert, but that's fine. So the things we need to clear are the browsing and download history, the cookies and the cache. So you don't have to worry about any of the other ones. So once you have those selected, you can click clear now. It'll think about it for a second and then we can close out of Firefox. And then once you go back in, it should all be working again. When clearing the cache, you want to make sure you only have one browser open. So after you've confirmed that, we're going to head up to the top right hand corner and click on the three dots and go all the way down to the bottom and click settings. Then you'll notice it says clear browsing data here and we're going to click on the button that says choose what to clear. So the only two things we need clicked here are the cookies and saved website data and cache data and files. So once you have those two selected, we're going to go down and press clear. You'll see it thinking about it for a second and once it says all clear, we're good. We can click off it, exit out of Edge and then jump back in and it should be working. Now with Edge, if it's still not working after, you can try clearing the cache on Internet Explorer as these two are connected and that may be your issue. When clearing the cache, you want to make sure that you only have one browser open. So once you've confirmed that, you can head up and click on the settings in the top right hand corner, the little cog, and then we're going to click on safety and then delete browsing history. And you'll notice there's also a shortcut being control shift delete. So we'll click on that. It'll bring a pop up for us. We're going to untick preserve favorites website data because most likely if you're clearing the cache, it may be one of your favorite websites. And then the ones we need selected are the temporary internet files and website files, and then the cookies and website data. So once you have those two selected, you can click delete and it does it pretty quickly and you will get a notification saying it's finished deleting and you can close out and once we go back in it should be all working again. 
Thanks for checking out our video on how to clear the cache. If you found the video useful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for future videos on walkthroughs for Dynamics 365.